DKT Women Care distributes different models of aspirators. IPAS MVA Plus, the single-use double valve, and the single valve aspirator. For further information, please check the manufacturer's instructions. The common parts that make up these devices are the plunger, plunger o-ring, valves, cups, cylinder, color stop and liner. Before you start the procedure, ensure that you have all these parts clean and ready. Have cannula ready of different sizes with adapters if needed. For instrument assembly, begin with the valve button or buttons open, with the plunger inserted all the way inside the cylinder and the collar stop locked in place, with the tabs pushed down into the holes in the cylinder. Next, push the button or buttons down and forward until you feel them lock. For the IPAS MVA Plus, these buttons will need to be pushed down and forward simultaneously. Next, create a vacuum by pulling the plunger back until the plunger arms snap out and catch on the wide sides of the cylinder base. The plunger arms should be fully extended to the sides and secured over the edges of the cylinder. Incorrect positioning of the arms could allow them to slip back inside the cylinder, which raises the risks of injecting the content of the aspirator back into the uterus. Never grasp the aspirator by the plunger arms. The following step is to check for vacuum retention by releasing the buttons. This should be done before each procedure. A rush of the air into the aspirator should be heard indicating that the vacuum was retained. If the rush of the air is not heard, remove the collar stop, withdraw the plunger and check that the plunger o-ring is not damaged and is free from foreign bodies. It should also be properly lubricated and positioned. Also, make sure that the cylinder is a firmly placed into the valve. Then, create a vacuum and test it again. If the vacuum is still not retained, the aspirated should be discarded or replaced with a new one. There are different types of cannula depending on the model of the aspirators that are available in your clinic and the clinical needs. They have dots marked on the land which can be used to assess the size of the uterus during the procedure.